Mimi I used to cry. Nikienda tu siko sikuwa natoka nje. Mm. Kwanza venye nilisikia tu amekufa. Nilikonda na three days. The moment ume lose mtu mwenye unampenda. Kwanza kama ni like your partner. Na seti ume break up ama Unaona ngani kama like mimi nilikuwa na feel ni kama nisipompost. Mm. Ni kama nimefanya mistake. Ama nilikuwa so, na feel ni kama nilikuwa na feel hata niki do mm. amepass lakini na hata nikikatiwa nilikuwa na feel ni kama na cheat. Mimi na date na Faustine. Jodi nilikuwa nishaanza ku receive trolls. Trolls kama gani? Wengine walikuwa na nitusi. Nishai tusi wa ya Faustine. Mm. Na watu walikuwa na tusi Faustine. Maybe watu watu wana tusingi Faustine. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for clicking this video. In so guys, today niko na mgeni anaitwa Nema Mose. Atakuwa anatuambia ataeleza story yake. Akuna story ya The Unsay Goodbye. Uh, Ali lost her loved one. So atakuwa anatuelezea story yake vile kulikuwa na pia kuna issue ilitokea kambwa na date Malkia Foster. Najua watu wengi wanamjua Malkia Foster, Mr. Foster Don. Wewe na cheka. Sasa atakuwa anatuelezea hiyo story na mengi vitu zenye anafanya. So kindly keep watching this video till the end. Mambo. Poa. Nza asante sana kwa kutukaribisha. Na pia kwa kwa wakati wako. Maybe uelezee ni mamose ni nani? Okay so aja nianze kusalimia hi guys um Neema Mose from Neema Mose's YouTube channel and Neema Hakima Neema so mnaweza mm-hmm. ni follow at hizo zote ne, Hakima Neema na Neema Mose so Neema umesema who is Neema mm-hmm. <laughs> Neema is a new mom in town mm-hmm. I'm a model mm-hmm. a professional model I'm a makeup artist and bado I'm a YouTuber. Nini liku motivate to ingia kwa modeling? Okay, so naweza sema ni passion. But all in all, nilikuwa na passion na makeup. So shule yenye nilienda kufanyia makeup, ilikuwa uwezi fanya makeup peke yake lazima ufanye modeling. So nika nikafanya modeling na makeup. So ulifanya modeling kama cause. Eh. <laughs> modeling yeah. inaweza fanya kama cause ama ni iko under beauty na. Eh no. Ndio mm. shule yenye nilisomea ni shule ya nilisomea commercial modeling and image branding. Kosa <laughs> commercial modeling and image branding. Mm. Mama, ni mwenu wa. Mm. Wewe napenda wanaume. Wewe amenyamaza. Aya, eh nilifanya. Unaweza toka na nje pia. Mm. So nilifanya modeling kama career. Like nimefanya kama cause modeling na makeup. Yeah. Sasa so, nasikia anga maybe character za kukuwa model ni ganji na sikia sije ove kunenepa. Hapana, <laughs> imagine anyone can be a model kuna plus size models mm. sasa ina depend unaweza kuwa like modeling mm. si ati kutembea kwa runway peke yake unaweza kuwa part model part model ni kama vile mkono peke yake ndio inapigwa picha oh. sasa ni kama una advertise watches hiyo sasa ni mkono peke yake itapigwa picha yeah. sio kuna different types na wao join as commercial model ama yeah, na... sasa nilifanya commercial modeling and mm. image branding na sasa makeup. Na makeup makeup sasa si ni yote tu in general. Oh. Yeah. Na nafanya ina range from how much hadi how much ndio mtu ajue as in for client. Wana. Client. Client mm. wanafanya from 800 to 1k. Ina but ina depend na makeup yenyewe unataka. 
pengine anataka kiasi kuna mgeni like anataka kuna tuseme full makeup mm. ni 1200 hiyo ni like mtu tu tuseme kama wewe unataka kufanya makeup <laughs> ni kuna bridal kuna yeah so ni kama kama ni makeup cha kawaida ni 1200 So it's affordable. So mnaweza mpata wenye anataka kufanywa makeup. Yeah. Eh natendi direct kwa hiyo story ya what happened to your loved one. Ilifanya video kwa YouTube channel yako. Yeah. Kambo liko me lost your boyfriend. So acha tusikie story yako venye ilikuwa. So it happened. Tulikuwa tumedate. Tulikuwa tumedate for long. <laughs> Check. <laughs> yeah. Tulikuwa tumedate for long so it happened mm. tulikuwa tumedate for long for how long for five years was it five years five years yeah, ilikuwa five years of dating seven years of knowing each other oh. yeah so it happened mm. ilikuwa jioni mm. ilikuwa na watch soap ya six yani mtu aso so mm. venye nilikuwa na watch akanipigia simu. We talked then ako anataka kukata simu. Maybe mlikuwa mnakaa na yeye alikuwa ameenda place nyingine katika mimi. Hapana. Hmm. Sasa mimi nilikuwa bado niko kwetu. <laughs> nilikuwa niko kwetu na yeye alikuwa bado huko kwao. So by then mimi nilikuwa Mombasa, alikuwa hmm. anasoma ah, alikuwa anasoma Nairobi. So by then mimi nilikuwa Mombasa, yeye alikuwa Malindi. Kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni Malindi. Hmm. So it happened. Mm. alikuwa ameenda watamu na brother yake na brother yake na mabishte zao alikuwa ameenda bash so akanipigia simu ito kutakuwa anataka kukata simu tukaongea tukaongea mm. na mwambie si ukate simu aniambia awe kata nikamwambia si wewe umepiga we kata akaniambia acha basi i yonge iki credit kisha itakata hiyo ni after party sasa yeye alikuwa ameenda ilikuwa jioni yeye ilikuwa ni kama after party sasa juu ni kama party ilikuwa imesha juu haikumaliza hata haikumaliza hata 40 minutes ndio hiyo accident ka happen so ni kama venye nilikuwa naongea naye na simu ndio ilikuwa ni kama walikuwa natoka huko oh. so we talked akakata kukata simu so tukaacha simu ikajikata sasa ikafika ikafika kitu saa moja hapo hmm. sister yake akani text akaniambia tebu try kupigia mose Try kupigia mose kama utampata. Nikimpigia aende through akomteja. Nikimpigia akomteja. Akaniambia chukua simu nyingine umpigie nayo. Juu kila mtu kwa nyumba anampigia na patikani na gari yetu nimepata accident. But haijulikani mm. nani alikuwa ndani. So kumbe brother yake alikuwa akitoka kwa nyumba kutoka na mose. Walienda wakapata na town. So hata watu wenyewe walikuwa wanajua kwa kwa gari ilikuwa inajulikana tu ni brother yake na mabeshte zao na fancy wa ubrother yake. So, walikuwa kwa gari moja. Hmm. Sasa si kumpigia kwa anapatikana nikachukua simu ya mamangu nikampigia. Apatikani na aku hajawahi kosa kushika simu ya mamangu. So like sasa ndo hapo sasa nikaanza kushtuka. Tukakaa akaniambia gari yao imepata accident but haijulikani nani yako ndani. Sister yake. Hey. So venye ilifika saa mbili hapo Mm. Sambil usiku. Aka akaniambia mm. wamepelekwa hosi but Mose alikuwa bado hajapatikana. Brother yake akaniambia itabidi wamtafute hospitali. Hizo ma hosi huko. Mm. Sasa kumbe Mose alikuwa ame venye alipata accident Mose alipelekwa hosi different. Ni mwenye alikuwa ameka mbele ilikuwa fiance ya brother yake ameka mbele mm. alafu sasa na brother yake alikuwa na drive so ile gari ilibondeka saidi ya uyo fiance ya brother yake na yeye alikuwa nyuma alikuwa amekaa kiti ya katikati sasa hakuwa oh. na seat belt na kumbe gari ili roll sasa ni kama ilimrusha ikamrudisha aka akaenda mbele akarudi nyuma mm. so venye ilimrudisha alikuwa amevunjika mguu but alikuwa anasema like ako sawa so aliamka mm. akaenda kusaidia huyo fiance wa brother yake. Ndio alikuwa anaambia brother yake mm. amka tu usaidie huyo. So venye ni ngai alikuwa sawa hiyo time. Yes alikuwa anadhani amevunjika tu mguu peke yake. Mm. 
Sasa akiamka kwenda kumsaidia ya akaanguka kafaint. Kufaint watu wakamchukua kampeleka hospitali. So madaktari wa kingangana na yeye hapo watu wa mapikipiki ndio alimpeleka hospitali. Na yeye alipelekwa hospitali ya government au wengine wakapelekwa private. So akipelekwa hospitali doctors walikuwa wana so anajua tu ni mguu. Sasa daktari walikuwa amengangana kumwangalia oh, mguu. Mm. But sasa alikuwa na wasem. Time ikiendelea na wasem. So kitu kama saa saba, alikuwa anafa kuletwa kuletwa Jocham. Sasa walikuwa wanangoja hizo ma, ma vitu zisainiwe. Jungu wake ulikuwa ume, umevunjika vibaya. So alikuwa anasema wanangoja wanangoja nini hizo form zisainiwe, walipe bill ndio atolee huko aletwe Jocham but then sasa ndo ilikuwa lazima afanywe test hizi ku inaitwa body ni <laughs> kupigwa picha mwili mzima so like when alipigwa picha mm. kwa kichwa ikaonekana kwa na internal bleeding oh, so sasa yeah, ndo akaanza sasa ku treat internal bleeding ku treat internal bleeding ika, sasa ndo ika, ikazidi kukua was kapelekwa emergency akapelekwa akapelekwa ICU Ya, yeah. kwa oxygen. Sasa venye alikuwa tu oxygen hapo ndo akakufa. Bwana. Na maybe yeye mwenyewe alipredict death yake au mwenyewe wajua kuna ile kuna sign maybe unaona stuff kama hiyo. Mm. Uh, like kuna ile alikuwa anasema mm. like kuna siku alinitumia a long text tuseme it was one week before akufa. Before hiyo. Eh alinitumia anga long text. Alafu sasa Like siwezi kumbuka text yote but kuna like some words naweza kumbuka alikuwa anasema when i die mm. nataka urushe rose kwa kwa nini kwa nini kwa kaburi eh hizo ndo words zenye nakumbuka na maybe au kumuuliza mbona anasema hivyo au ah ah sasa unajua mose was a poet sasa mimi nilikuwa nimezoea tu lazima atanitumia hizo my long text my long text Ah, oh, akaandika eh, poems. Mm. Ivo. Na wewe mwenyewe hiyo siku yenye, hiyo siku yenye anakufa maybe vile mnaoje kuna vile mnaongea. Sasa mimi three days sin. before akufe mm. niliota. Niliota like tulikuwa mazishi but siku anajua ni ya nani. Mm. So the following day asubuhi tukamboa aunt yangu amekufa. Sasa mimi nikajua ni hiyo ya aunt yangu yeah. sasa imeisha. Eh. Then sasa yeye ndo akakufa na after hiyo story may happen maybe will he large <laughs> it was tough <laughs> we mm. hey it was tough it's not easy by the way and chenye naweza sema ni mm. kila mtu ako na kuna venye na heal kila mtu ako na healing process yake mimi nilienda hadi Oh, nilienda ngadi therapy mm. but ni kama therapy ndio ilikuwa ina wasin unajua sasa therapy mm. first days of therapy ni hard ndio ni kama mna mna, mna go into the situation deep into the situation unaambwa like kama vitu zenye mlikuwa mmezoea kufanya ipunguze mm. sasa like hizo first days of therapy zilikuwa hard but finally here I am <laughs> na ni vitu gani weird zenye maybe watu walikuwa nakwambia je mabeste kuna si hata weird mm. worst things acha nikwambie mm. people out here wanatumia nga your low moments to mm. put you down yeah exactly mimi nikikumbuka i was once called a widow like so na imagine after baro eh mm. mtu anakwambia we ni widow Uki, uki imagine mtu atakuwa amekuoa like hata kama you are going there mm. but mtu wako amekuoa na mtu anakuita widow mbona nasema like akuwa amekuoa mm. like ni among the family members ama ni friends wenye walikuwa nakwambia hivyo friends friends obvious friends your close friends ah uh, si close but friends unajua hata fadhali you are your friend akwambie hivyo utasema ah nimemzoea mm. kuliko mtu tu akikuwa na kwanjia anakwambia ama nile ukipita kwanjia na asia yule ndo chali yake alikufa <laughs> ilikuwa naichukulia aje maybe mtu akikwambia obviously unaifeel na feel vibaya una, una... mimi i used to cry 
nikienda tu viko siku anatoka nje hmm. kwanza venye nilisikia tu amekufa nilikonda na 3 days nilikuwa 53 kg hmm. nikipima weight juu nilikuwa mgonjwa nikaenda nikapima weight kupima weight nikapata niko 47 kg so like mimi chenye naweza sema ni watu wenye wako karibu na wewe hakuna venye total stranger atakuja kuambia vitu zenye ajui mm. like watu wenye wako karibu na wewe ndio wao wana try to put you down na uli lose friends aje kuna watu after kitu me happen ma- marafiki wanaanza kumwongelea vibaya hata kikwa best yako tena like anaona una feel ni kama uko lonely hakuna mtu karibu yako chenye nilikuwa na feel ni like people mm. watu wanielewi Watu wanielewi chenye I'm going through mm. ma, nilikuwa na feel lonely juu siku anatoka hata kwa nyumba Sorry and then sasa oh. unajua mm. like ukiwa ukiwa kwa nyumba mm. kama utaki si ati kama utaki kwa associate na mtu lakini the more unakuwa kwa nyumba hata kama watu wata associate na wewe but ni ile tu mambo poa hivyo uko poa eh niko poa na si kila mtu mwenye unaweza mwambia shida zako ama si kila mtu mwenye unaweza mwambia everything so like nilikuwa nashinda tu kwa nyumba na lala na lala nashinda kulala usiku pia bado na lala na familia yako ilijua kusi hiyo story maybe eh hey, kila mtu alikuwa anajua juu kila mtu alikuwa anamjua na watu walikuwa anajua tuna date mm. eh hey. like am kwa mmeoana mm hatukuwa tumeoana na after hapo kuna history ilitokea ukambua na date. Kwa na date nani? Malkia Faustine. Ndio <laughs> mlikuwa pia like me go through same situation, ndio? Okay. So kwanza Malkia Faustine tulipata nanga ni Faustine, si Malkia. Malkia ni bibi yake actually. Yeah. Chani so Faustine tulipata na like eh, mimi chali yangu alikufa kama this month. Mm. Then ya bibi yake akakufa next month. So a friend of mine akaniambia oh, so yako ilikuwa earlier than yake. Mm. A friend of mine si kwa najua Faustin by then. A friend of mine akaniambia mm. kuna best yangu ame lose bibi yake na ni kama yuko sawa. Juu wewe you went through the same thing nataka umuongeleshe. So akanipea namba. Ndipo sasa tukaanza kujua na na Faustin tukaongea mm. yeah and we are still talking <laughs> but Maybe. we are not dating at the end date na Malke Fosti watu wakikuona na mtu lazima mm. watasema tu mna date juu Fosti si hadi aliambiwa na date na Koko watu walisema na date na Koko mm. sema mimi na date na Fosti jodi nilikuwa nishaanza ku receive trolls about Fosti trolls kama gani wengine walikuwa na nitusi Nisha tu siwe ya Faustine mm. na watu walikuwa na tu si Faustine. Maybe watu watu wana tu singi Faustine. Mbona actually watu tu Faustine je hiyo story yake? Mm. Kila mtu ako na ana heal different. Kuna mm. different ways of healing. Mm. Na ukumbukea Faustine na kuna mtoto. So it's not easy. Your bond bado Alafu sasa una imagine uko na mtoto umse kila masoko kiangalia alafu una imagine venye talisha anafanana na mamake so ni kama kila time ukiangalia unaona tu mamake sawa so, watu waelewi wanaona ni kama na take time ku heal lakini waelewi tena na pitia za sema kwanza wanaume wanaume si strong kama wanawake wanaume ni different wanaume he mm. wanaume unajua sasa mwanaume hata aki akianda go through depression hizi kuja kufesa kwambie you like society imewachukulia kama watu wenye nafaa kwa strong yeah sasa ndo maana wanaume wana take time ku heal hata kama atakuja kufesa kwambie directly but action zake zinaweza kwambia so mimi naweza sema wape tu first time yake <laughs> aki heal amtaona akiwa post hizo vitu zenye na postingi ndio unaona the moment you lose mtu mwenye unampenda kwanza kama ni like your partner na set me break up ama unaona ngani kama like mimi nilikuwa na feel ni kama nisipompost hmm. ni kama nimefanya mistake ama nilikuwa so, na feel ni kama nilikuwa na feel hata niki though 
mm. amepass lakini na hata nikikatiwa nilikuwa na feel ni kama na cheat wa wow. eh ndo maana it's hard kwanza kama mmeoana mm. sasa yeye ampe two time yake na yeye maybe anaona ni kama atakuwa na cheat ama yeah au bado ako na hiyo guilt kwa moyo mm. na vile unajua fostin maybe fostin ni mtu aina gani bali na friendship <laughs> fostin <laughs> fostin is a friendly person He's mm. caring. He's a good friend. Yaani in general mimi naweza sema he's a good friend. Ukiomba advice hizi kwa sababu advice mm. like ukiwa na shida he's that person mwenye ukiwa mm. na shida hizi kuacha. Na ungepoa chance ya kudate ama maybe angekukatia ungekubali. Hai, zi. Unajua <laughs> like kuna faa kwa na vibe. Ni yeah, ndo date mtu mnafaa kuwa mna vibe. Sasa mimi mimi na Faustin na twezi date kwa sababu mm. mimi sikuwa na feelings na Faustin. Plus at that time mm. mimi nilikuwa na nilikuwa bado niko na nini na grief na yeye alikuwa na grief. Sasa hata tukua na hizo hizo stories za kwati watu wanaweza katiana ama nini. Vibe mm. ya nilikuwa tu kwa friendship. Yeah. Na mimi believe like mm. it's better kuwe mabeshte na mtu. Unaona kama ukiwa ukiwa friends na mtu, alafu huyo mtu akukatie, mm. friendship inaishanga. <laughs> yeah. Sasa mimi na believe like friendship it's better than your dating. Na bado naongea na Faustin. Hey, naongea anga. Naongea kusisi <laughs> stories <laughs> like ile mambo po kwa je niko fit? Sivyo tu na ungependa kumwambia nini juu like yeye yeah, bado ni kama ana anapitia same situation like yeye yeah, aja hell maybe ungependa kumwambia nini chenye mm, sema nini <laughs> like mm. keep on going kwenye tu anaelekea he's going on the right path yes you see even alikuwa kitambo at least sai yeah Unajua unaweza angalia tu mtu hivi. Mm. Mtu kama ko depressed ukimwangalia hivi unaweza jua. Yeah. Sasa anaka depressed bado. Hapana. <laughs> Sasa anaka depressed but mm. ako on the right way. Yeah. Na kuna tipe anamwambia maybe like si kuna hiyo story imetokea eti sija na date hana better. Sasa <laughs> kuna hata anamwambia maybe aki, aki date mtu at, au akiwa mtu ndo like ata heal haraka than venye ana ndio kwa watu wa different na first of all hakuna venye tu unaweza date hiyo itakuwa you are using someone to mm. get over someone na hiyo itakuwa bado love yako iko kwa huyo mtu mwingine so ni kama unajifosisha kupenda huyo mtu mwingine but akili yako iko huko sasa itakuwa ni kama huyo mtu mwingine ndo ana force issues sasa unaona kama venye watu wanasema anga hana benta na force issues Mwana <laughs> anampenda ama hmm? ama ni See, friends bado. They are not bado. dating. They are not dating. Si so, walisema kwa commentator ni comment yeah commentator. Walisema they are not dating. Kia anaweza kuwa na date na ni secretly. Hai, si dhani. Then dating. Unaona hmm. like wanaume wengi wanapendanga show off. So like show off. As in wanapenda ku show off their girlfriends some of their families. So kuna venye uh, angekuwa na data na benta na angekuwa jam show off. Na yeye ni mse wa social media. Kiko obviously anapenda watu ajue. Yeah. Na yeye personally it take how long maybe obviously after hapo watu walianza kukatia ama ku approach wanataka utoe hiyo grief. Like it take how long ndo kaanza ku date ama Like hiyo story yako after hapo ilikuwa aje kuhusu ku date sasa. Like mimi nilikuwa after hapo sasa mm. venye my friends ama friends wa Mose mostly friends wa Mose ndo alikuwa ananiambia ni move on ni date like ni date. Ndio wako anataka kuniona kwa hiyo situation yenye nilikuwa. Mm. Yeah, so I started dating hivyo hivyo pole pole but when I just saw my name will come but it's still like a mosse so i started dating to a date for almost one year then the person cheated 
<laughs> yeah, ndo tuka end up na Hakim. Ah, wewe mwingine alicheti ndo uka uka yeah. date mwenye uko na usai yeah. na vya even alicheti obviously will feel bad, will feel eh yeah. maybe ungeendelea na mtu mwenye alikuwa. I felt unwanted kwanza. Hmm. Alafu niliona like maybe hako ani ananipenda alikuwa na feel pity when hmm. my previous relationship hmm. the boyfriend died na ulienda paje na haki maybe relationship yenu iko aje paka mkaanza ku date sasa mko na mtoto hey tumejiona na haki for so long like atujaanza juzi kujiona hmm. na haki tumejiona kutoka kitambo Mm. then tuka kwa mabeshte like we had a common friend so beshte yangu alikuwa beshte yake so hivyo pole pole hakima akaniambia nataka kufanya akaambia beshte yangu anataka kufanya youtube na mimi like mm. video uh, youtube video then tuka nikakuja tukafanya video mm. and here we are <laughs> <laughs> na kuna time maybe unaka unafiki wewe unaona like Hakim ni beta kuliko ex boyfriend wako like mwenye alipas je kuna wengine anakaa hivi anafikiria unaanza kukompea mtu ama unaanza ku feel like maybe singekuwa hapa kama mwingine angekuwa alive if you you are at the right if you, if you are at the right <laughs> at the right place wewe fikiria hivyo Yeah and kama vitu zinakupeleka vizuri kwanza uweze fikiria hivyo. Yeah. Na bado bado uko na hiyo grief yake ya hiyo boy like bado unaweza kai hivi u feel like nafaa ku post picha yake kama venye umesema ulikuwa na feel ku post picha zake hapo after me grief yangu ilisha ilisha cha you immediately like after one year mm. like siku na Haikuwa imeisha mpaka mm. hadi after one year. Sasa venye brother yangu alipass ndo ni kama ili shift kutoka kwa Moseka kuja sasa kwa brother yangu. Yeah. Okay, maybe advice kwa mtu mwe. Wajua kuna watu wanapitia vitu mengi situations kama hizo na like are you ready ku open up? Ama like wajua kuna watu wanapitia depression na your situations yeah. fulani na hataki ku open up jana feel uoga ama na feel ni kama watu watamuingilia mimi naweza advise aje mimi je ninaweza sema ni mm. ati take it slow kila mtu kuna venye na heal usiende like healing yangu haiwezi kwa healing yako yeah so mimi naweza heal differently we will heal differently na mtu mtu mwenye anapitia same situation na yako venye ilikuwa maybe unamwambia aje a open up your story juu ati kuna wengine anasema <laughs> ukishare kitu ndo na kwa relate yeah, it's true unajua the more una share ndo the more ina unaitoa kwa akili you ukinyamazia ni kama inakukula yeah so afadhali u open up kuliko kae nayo Yangu na mafans wako. Beza <laughs> kuna YouTube channel. So guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come and subscribe. Mm. At Neema Mose, then mm. we have a family channel at Hakima Neema. You can also follow me on my Instagram page. Mm. Neema_mose_ na at my makeup account. Mm. Makeup by Mose. Na kwa ni umami na kufelekaje <laughs> malizi. <laughs> ah it's good. Yeah, enjoying every moment like the sleepless nights na zote tu. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Tumekuwa na ni Mamose amesema kuhusu story yake na unaweza amreach out pia kwa Instagram. Amesema handa uzaki umesema? Yeah. Handa zake. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let's meet next time. Bye. Mama, hey, amevumilia. Ni usingizi sasa. Aya pole mama. Hey, ili